You know, the worst part is that I could put this bowl down and I could keep filming, but like, I truly, I, I, I just can't separate myself <laughs> from this bowl. Like, I just, I keep thinking I want to set it down, but then I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be continuing a series that I started, I want to say maybe a month-ish ago, and it all started when I tested out Samantha Ravindahl's favorite makeup, which if you missed it, I will link it up here. And I just want to mention something in regards to that video, because truthfully, you guys, <laughs> you made this thing for me so special like youtube as a whole the platform you have made this such an amazing like time for me but when i am able to put up a video like that and you guys just receive it so well you love it the engagement is amazing and seeing you guys so invested and so happy to see different types of content i can't tell you how much <laughs> that warms my soul because as someone who when i started my youtube channel you guys know or at least a lot of you know i started as just a review channel and like that was all i did i kicked out reviews five days a week. Actually, at the beginning, it was seven days a week, but then eventually it dropped down to five. But all I did was do reviews. I only ever gave my opinion. Is it good? Is it bad? And that was it. And a lot of that was based on, you know, I love doing reviews. I still do. I love first impressions. They're amazing. But there was always like this veil there. And I don't even want to say it was just like a lack of confidence, but there was a lack of what I perceived as my ability to do more or to do anything different. And I just want you guys to know that this video that you're watching right now, now, obviously, we're going to be testing out some of Kathleen Light's favorite makeup, uh, but videos like this, they wouldn't even be a thing if it wasn't for you guys and for how sweet and so encouraging and so just amazing you guys are. And the fact that you always remind me that I can do more and that I can be something different. Like, whatever I decide I want to be is up to me, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate that reminder. And what I'm not going to do right now is allow myself to be put on this emotional roller coaster and go up, down, left, right, sideways, because we all know it's going to happen, because I'm just, I'm a hot mess right now. So instead, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and the support, whether it's on that video, this video, the channel in general, and just thank you for being so supportive and letting me grow, change, evolve, and just be who I am. Now, before we get into Kathleen's makeup, let's take just a second here really quickly, run through the spiel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do that before you leave. I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up usually, <laughs> usually around 7 a.m., 7.30. Sometimes it's a little late. Sometimes it's a day late, okay? It's just, it happens. Um, but, you know, normally three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You should definitely subscribe, stick around. I would greatly appreciate it. And then, of course, if you haven't checked me out yet, Instagram and on Twitter, those will both be linked down below. Per usual, I will give everyone the same disclaimer that I give in pretty much every video. If you want to see me in like my day-to-day -day life outside of this, I am way more active over on Instagram. I love making the Insta stories in the day-to-day. -day. I love little two-minute IGTV videos for makeup application. I love makeup photos. I love plus-size fashion photos. I love, I just love Instagram, okay? Like I love the relational aspect that it carries. I also really like Diet Coke with light ice from McDonald's. And for those of you that want to ask like about my water consumption page, have you had your water? What are you doing with your life? Did you actually drink the H2O? I have one thing to say to you. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Come on, people. Anybody else remember that? Adam Sandler, Water Boy. I was like, what, 12 when that came out? There's a hair on my mic. There's like a fuzzle and it's like waving at me. Wow, I need to just get into the video. Oh my God, guys, <laughs> let's put on some makeup. All right, so the camera's good and zoomed in. And for those of you that don't know or are not familiar with these videos, or if you didn't see my Samantha Ravindahl one, basically what this is, um, is just us going through and appreciating an influencer. And obviously for today's video, I chose Kathleen Lights. And I will tell you, you know, some of the reasons that I love her, some of the reasons that I watch her. But the main premise behind these videos is to do kind of a mashup of her favorites. So for today I have, I think I counted like nine new products and these are products I have never tested before. So we're getting like half first impressions on things that she says, you know, they're amazing. She swears by them. But then I'm also incorporating other makeup that I already have that either I haven't used in a while or just something that I never maybe would put all of these together. And the idea behind it is to not only appreciate their view of makeup, again, in this case, it's Kathleen's, but we're not only getting behind like the products that she really enjoys and testing them out seeing if they're good but we're also testing out different makeup application you know different like ways uh, and finishes for skin types and that sort of thing let's go ahead and get started with primer which is this little fellow from Farsali and this is their liquid glass radiance serum and this is one that I found 
I want to say back, maybe it was in like her 20, 2019 favorites, like her end of the year wrap up. And this primer actually looks really, really nice on the skin. And I think what I like about this serum is the way that it soaks in because it does have that serum consistency to it. But at the same time, it still leaves you with like a very light kind of lilt on the skin. And I just, I really like that. Like it looks so healthy. And this primer as well as foundation, which is what we're gonna get into next. This is the uh, Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And I have this in the shade 150. But both of these are actually um, products that I've had in my collection for a while. And I just haven't been using them because you know, I've been testing out other stuff and ultimately just, you know, so much of it gets pushed to the back that you forget about it. But what I really do appreciate with that um, that serum primer, and I've, cause I've used it before, I like the way that it looks really radiant on the skin. And you know, today's not the best example because this Fenty foundation is very hydrating. But what I like is that when you pair that one, even with a more matte foundation, like say the Catrice HD full coverage one, I use that a lot. When you pair it with even stuff like that, you still are able to get like a nice lilt coming through the skin. Now as far as this foundation goes, this actually looks really, really beautiful. I didn't go in and like build it up so you can still see a little bit of like redness and acne peeking through. But I do remember back when this first came out, because obviously I did like a first impression and a wear test on it. My biggest issue with this is because I'm more combo leaning oily, um, it, it just doesn't last on my skin as well as a lot of my other foundations do. But it definitely does look beautiful. Like when I first apply it right now, just in, in terms of application, ease, coverage, all of that, it goes on like a dream. Okay, so it's time for concealer. And for those of you that watch Kathleen Lights, would it be one of her videos if I did not use the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer? Absolutely not. <laughs> Okay, this is the concealer. This is one of her favorites. And honestly, I can see why. I've been using this a lot lately. I pulled it out of my drawer maybe like two, three-ish weeks ago. And the consistency is really beautiful. Obviously, you're gonna see it applied here in a second. But I have this in the shade Three Fair. But I think in terms of Kathleen, one of the things that she really enjoys about this concealer is the creaminess of it and how well it blends and like melds in with the skin. She's the type when it comes to like makeup and application and that sort of thing, like she always says, you know, I don't mind if I have less coverage on my face, but I need there to be more coverage and more like fullness under my eyes. That's just something that like she really looks for in makeup. I think for me in the sense of, you know, this concealer, cause like I said, I've been using this a lot lately. I've really grown to love the fact that it's more, um, it's, it's a more workable concealer than a lot of others in the sense that it has a beautiful medium coverage, but you can build it or you can sheer it out. So, you know, depending on what you're looking for, even in terms of the finish, this does come off very skin like, you know, middle of the road. So if you want it to have more of a dewy appearance, then you could go in and prep your skin with a little bit more of a dewy option or vice versa if you'd rather it go in the more matte direction. But because it has those qualities to it, it just makes it really easy to like work with and to really curate into your makeup look. So for this next one, I did have to dig a little ways back into her videos, but I was able to find a setting powder and it's one that I had in my collection. This is from Thrive Cosmetics and this is their filtered effect soft focus HD setting powder. I believe that this is just in the shade translucent and for right now I'm just going to be using this to set my under eyes because I do have some cream products to test out. Now in terms of setting powders obviously for me and my skin type this isn't the most ideal option but I wasn't really surprised that this is the one that was listed in one of her you know older um, favorite videos because if you are someone that has drier skin you're someone that doesn't really gravitate towards powder this is a pretty good option because it has like a nice really really fine light mill to it and it's something that when you use it to set your under eye or set your face like as a whole it's not going to be so thick and so cakey the main thing it's not going to do is overly mattify your skin which is something that again if you already have dry skin you're not going to want to go too far in that direction so I'm not surprised that this is you know her choice or something that she's liked in the past but for me and my skin I can tell you this is something that when I use it I have to use it more as um, what I would say is like a finishing powder because it's not aggressive enough to really like set my fine lines, set my under eyes, my crevasses, my pores, the whole situation. Okay, so now it's time for some cream blush because we're just, we're skipping right over cream bronzer. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I am so freaking excited, you guys. Like these are two products, this one especially from M Cosmetics. Oh my God, she has talked about this so much. This is the M Cosmetics Blush Serum Drops and I have it in the shade Rose Milk. And here is a swatch. Oh my God, this is gorgeous, you guys. The consistency, of this is so nice and it is very much so like a serum kind of thinness but at the same time the color is just so 
it's so light, but it's also buildable in like a weird way. This is gorgeous. And then the other one we have here, this is from a Grande Cosmetics. This is their Grande Pop Plumping Liquid Blush. And it's in the shade Sweet Peach. And if memory serves correctly, she actually just talked about this one, I wanna say in her most recent or like maybe last month's favorites. The thing with this that really intrigued me is um, when she was describing it in her favorites video, she was talking about how it like, it's designed and it has, what is it, like volume lift or vin up, that's what it is, vin up lift. And it's meant to firm and tighten fine lines. It's a lightweight formula. And it's just supposed to really like give you a lifting and like firming look to your cheek. And I don't know if you guys know this, okay? <laughs> but I'm 30 and I need all the lifting and plumping and helping and fine line reduction I can get because again, <laughs> I'm 30. Now for application, I'm gonna start off with a clean sponge and I'm gonna go in first with M Cosmetics right here. And I'm just uh, taking a little bit of it off the back of my hand and just popping it on here. And then I am gonna take, after I've like veiled the cheek pretty nicely, I'm just gonna build up a little bit more color and take the excess up onto the temple a little bit, just right up in this area. I think what I'm liking the most about this is actually how natural it looks on my skin because it is giving me like a beautiful light pink flush, but I was really apprehensive going into it because of that sheen, like it's it's so overwhelmingly dewy when you swatch it. But when you apply it to your cheek, it doesn't go all the way like straight to overwhelming dew. It just, it really does settle in and give you like a healthy glow. And I really like that. It makes it a much more versatile product. The other side I'm doing it the same way. I just applied a little bit to the back of my hand and then I'm going to take that and pop it right over here and I'm going to work it in the same motion. So concentrating the majority of it, I would say like down here toward the apple of my cheek and then the excess can just go like right up by the temple. So the first thing that's catching me about this is like in terms of the shade itself, it melts into the skin very beautifully. Like this tone, it has more of a corally undertone to it, but it's also playing very well off of my natural like pink cheek color, which I really appreciate because it tells me that it's a very melting product. Now I think my main like caveat with these blushes is that they are beautiful, they apply really nice, they have a beautiful light lilt, light pigmentation, and all of that is really good. But if you are the type of person that prefers like a full glam moment, I don't know that this is gonna be your aesthetic just because you do have to work with them, you do have to build them, and even after you build them, you're not gonna get like some crazy amount of like color or flush or anything like that. So again, if you're you're the type like more full glam, you can try them absolutely and they might work really well as a base. But in the end, you'll probably want something that's a little bit more, maybe maybe like a little bit more of a, a stout cream product versus something like these that has like that serum consistency. Next up, we're getting into cream highlight. This is from Grande Cosmetics. Again, just like the blush right here, which I actually think she picked up both and then talked about both in the same video. And this is their Grande Glow Plumping Liquid Highlight. And this right here is in the shade French Pearl and oh my god, that's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, I am so on board for this. Wait a second. Oh, it smells like candy. It smells almost like like a green apple sucker. No. Yeah, like a green apple sucker, but like a hold on. Not just any green apple sucker, like a 90s green apple sucker. Oh yeah, take me back, honey. Take me back. Oh, that smells fantastic. Now for this one, I'm just gonna be a little bit more daring and I'm just gonna do a couple little dots on my cheekbone. I'm gonna go in with the clean side of my sponge and just really tap it out. Okay, so I added a little bit more and I'm just pressing it in with my finger because I think the heat from my hand actually helped a little bit with the blending process. That is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I, guys, I love, oh my God, I love that. Can't put my finger on it. It's almost like the champagne shade of this is giving my cheek like a lift. And you know what I really like about this? Like I just put it on the bridge of my nose here, a little here, a little on the chin. I like that this is the type of product that as I apply it all over my face, it actually looks like the type of product that melts in, like it belongs there, because the glow is so, like it's so perfect and it's on point, it's glowy, you can see it, but it's not overwhelming in the sense that you're just like, oh my God, like, whoa, what is that obnoxious highlight? Because it just looks like it's melting into the skin and it looks so natural. And also, I can actually feel like the, the plumping that they're talking about with this, it's so weird, like it's the weirdest sensation, but I can feel ever so lightly, like right up in these regions, on my upper lip, my chin, like all of it, I can feel like that, there's like a light, like, coolness to that area. It's not like a weird, like a lip plumper or anything, but I can feel a cooling sensation in that area, 
Oh my God, that's so unique. All right, so you guys know I always am 100% honest with you. Like I could run off of camera, fix my face and be fine, but I desperately, okay, desperately need like an aggressive setting powder because I wanna keep testing out like her favorites, other products I picked up, but like my skin needs to be set down with more than just that Thrive powder. So next up, I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. It's in the shade Cloud. Not gonna be setting it very heavy because obviously I want like those products to still shine through but my face guys <laughs> my face needs it desperately right now oh my god now with that nice little light layer of the Too Faced powder down I am gonna dive in to some more face products and it would not be a Kathleen Lights video if I wasn't using my physician's formula butter bronzer okay this is like her cult classic her tried and true and she has talked about this more than I think anybody else on the internet so I'm gonna be going in with a little bit of this again just for a light layer of bronzer I'm applying this with the Sigma. This is the Sigma Dual Fiber F50. So it's just a nice little light dual fiber brush. All right, so now it's time for blush. And this is another one that Kathleen Lights absolutely raves about. This is from M Cosmetics. I did go ahead and swatch it. Um, this is the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour Radiant Veil Blush. For me, it was one of those products that when I sat down to do this video, I just knew that it had to be included because she talks about it nonstop. Like, I mean, months on end. I think for me, what's striking me the most about this is how skin like it is because this blush it has a lot of like shimmer and shine to it and it easily could have went like way too far way too shimmery and just been like almost an obnoxious highlight kind of blush and instead when I apply it I'm actually getting more like um, like a like a skin within kind of feel because it's so unbelievably lightweight the formula is so thin that you truthfully you can't even see it like it's undetectable yeah as of right now this is rivaling the the glowy whatever the hell that stuff was that I put on my cheek these are fighting each other for like my favorite product right now because this looks so unbelievably beautiful on the skin but like <laughs> so does the highlight <laughs> so like oh my god they're both so beautiful you know what really surprises me too and like I I don't know why it surprises me because I feel like it makes logical sense, but it really surprises me how much my skin right now, it looks so much like what she would want her skin to look like at this stage. Like it has this glow, it looks so happy, so jutsy. <laughs> you know, speaking in Kathleen Light's terms, and it just looks so gorgeous. Like my skin looks healthy and, and fresh. Okay, so let's just talk about eyebrows really quickly because I am so bitter. <laughs> like Kathleen Light's has these beautiful ass, like full, just like, oh, they're so workable. Like her brow hairs are just, they're perfect and, and she can do so much with them. And then there's me, okay? <laughs> I look in the mirror and I have all of seven brow hairs, like you can count them, one, two, three, seven. And the brow hairs that I have, like they've had to be cultivated and like raised and brought up as children I've had to tuck them in, kiss them on the cheeks, read them bedtime stories, and really care about their individual well-being. So for today, when I go in and do my brows, it's not going to be anything exciting because truthfully, whatever Kathleen Lights does with her eyebrows, <laughs> I just can't do that because my eyebrows <laughs> are non-existent. So I'm going to be using two products. You've seen them used before, so we're going to buzz through it. The first one is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 3.5 Neutral Medium Brown. And then over top of that, I'm gonna go in with a little Benefit Gimme Brow Gel, and this is in the shade five. Well, hello, fantastic people. Paige is back. I have some brows now, which is nice. And I also have this bowl of strawberries with a little whipped cream on top. I say a little whipped cream. <laughs> I love whipped cream. Um, but I was really, really hungry. Like I was sitting here and I'm like, my God, I am starving to death. And it was one of those moments too, where like I was doing my brows and all was fine, but because I thought about food, I then couldn't stop because I just got so hungry so fast. So I got done with my brows and I went and got this bowl here and I filled it up and I'm just really happy about it like <laughs> truthfully this was the best decision I think I ever could have made today are there people in this world that don't like strawberries or whipped cream <gasps> who doesn't like whipped cream oh my god <laughs> I just had an overwhelming feeling of sadness come over my whole body <laughs> for people that don't like whipped cream oh my god <laughs> Whipped cream is where it's at <laughs> you know the worst part is that I could put this bowl down and I could keep filming but like I truly, I, I, I just can't separate myself <laughs> from this bowl. Like I just, I keep thinking I want to set it down, but then I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> All right, guys, so I went ahead and I finished up my strawberries so that way I can focus. I know, <laughs> we're both grateful. And while I was off of camera, I went ahead and I swatched the palette for today, which looks 
absolutely beautiful. Um, this is the one that Kathleen Lights literally has raved about for so long on her channel. And this is also from M Cosmetics. This is their Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be completely ass honest with you guys. When I first saw this palette, like I put it in my cart to purchase it and I was just like, why? Why on earth am I buying this palette? Like there was something about this online that just did not appeal to me, like in any sense of the word. It's not that I don't trust the formula. It's not that I think, you know, Kathleen has bad taste or anything, obviously, or I wouldn't be doing this video. I really couldn't pinpoint whatever it was that I didn't like. It was just, there was something about it that wasn't enough for me. And even until just a couple of minutes ago when I opened it up, you know, I'm eating my strawberries, I'm swatching it. Even right up until that moment, I was just like, eh, like it's a little palette. It's probably not worth it, like blah, 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 whatever. But now that I've swatched it, I'm already starting to have a different opinion because truthfully, there is a very real disconnect with me from this palette on the internet versus having it in real life. It works and delivers with more richness in real life, if that makes sense. And I just... I don't know, man, there's something about it. Like I'm looking at these, this neutral brown shade right there, which is beautiful. I'm really loving these three shimmers. And even looking at the, um, like the shades themselves, I love that there's so many different options, but they're all still in the same family. Now, instead of me just sitting here and talking about this palette, I figured we should actually start to use it. So I just went in and primed my lids with a little hourglass concealer. The first eyeshadow that we're gonna dip into is the lighter pink shade. And I'm taking that on a Wet n Wild P20 brush. And I'm gonna focus that one more so in my upper crease and fluff it in my inner socket right there. And then I'm very lightly gonna pull it back, but I'm gonna keep it just above my crease because I'm gonna blend the other matte shades into it. And I am applying this very, very lightly because I don't really want to like deepen up the color of it. Like I, I love the, the lightness that it carries and I really wanna keep that consistent. So I'm just very lightly applying a little like dusting of it. And from there, I'm taking the darker mauve pink shade and I'm just working that through the crease just underneath of that, uh, that light pink we just put down. And I'm just blending the two together so that way it's a nice like gradient effect going up. Then from there, I'm taking the dark brown and working that on the inner and the outer V. I'm actually really shocked with these shades. For some reason in my mind, they were very like, light and they were going to be fluffy and they, they weren't going to have like any real depth to them. But these shadows are proving to be unbelievably rich. They're blending like a dream. And truthfully, they look gorgeous together. Like all of the mattes so far have blended together effortlessly and the color story really works. And then underneath of the eyes, I did throw on just a little bit of the lightest pink shade just to give it something to kind of tie to the rest of the eye look but I don't want it to be like overwhelming. I wanted it to be still nice and simple. All over the center of the lid, we're gonna go in with this shimmer right here. It's more of like a bronzy gold. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the dead center and then kind of bring it up toward the brow bone and just blend it in with my fingers. I'm not going in with like a glitter glue or anything. I just want it to be more of like a natural amount of sheen. Oh, that's really pretty. And then I am gonna go in with a little bit of the brighter shade here in the palette. This is the brightest shimmer. And I'm just gonna take that and very lightly place it along the center of the eye just to help build a little dimension. And I think in terms of the eyeshadow look, I'm going to leave it here because I know myself and I think if I keep going, <laughs> I think I'm gonna ruin it. So instead what we're gonna do is actually shift our focus over from using this on the eyes and we're gonna use it on the rest of the face as well because that's actually something that Kathleen Lights has mentioned multiple times about this palette. One of the reasons that she really likes it is because she can use it for both blush and for highlight. And so I thought for today, even though I'm already wearing, you know, obviously a lot of both of those. Um, I thought we could still test it out. So I went ahead and I grabbed my Sigma F40. This is the large angled contour brush. And I thought we would use this just to apply a little bit of the lightest pink shade. This is, I think, the shade she said she uses for blush. And then just using a Wet n Wild highlight brush here, I'm going in and using the lightest shade in the palette for uh, for highlighting and you know just <laughs> adding a little bit more shine to the face because why not and i can definitely see why she's been doing this because that looks beautiful like that color the, the shade of it it just melts into the skin really nicely 
and it matches everything else so well. Like this is such a cohesive look. All right guys, so now it's time for mascara and I have a product that I am just so hesitant to even try and use, but Little Miss Kathleen Lights, she loves it, she swears by it, and that is this little guy from Velour. This is their Lash and Go Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid, and I am so nervous, okay? And for those of you that are newer here, you might not know why this is so significant, but I almost never wear false lashes. Like, I just, in the last few years especially, I just quit wearing them because my eyes are painfully sensitive, and it just got to the point where no matter what glue I tried, no matter what eyelash, no matter what eyeshadow, like my eyes would just water constantly. So I got to the point where I just didn't care about eyelashes. Like it just, it wasn't worth it to me to have my eyes be itchy and to have them just be super irritated. And that's why for today's video, guys, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna at least give it a try, see if it works, see how my eyes react, and we're gonna go from there. So for those of you that don't know what this is or you've never heard of it, essentially what it is is a liquid black eyeliner and you are supposed to take and do a little strip of it. it. Looks a little something like this. You'll do a little strip of it along your eye just like you would a regular black liquid eyeliner and you let it dry down, I wanna say for like 20 seconds or something. Actually, you know what, in the directions, it just says that you start with one eye, you apply the eyeliner from the inner to the outer corner and then step two is apply the lash, adjust it as needed and then repeat on the other side. So it doesn't even say you need to wait in between like the liner application and the lash application, so I guess we're not waiting. So update, I have one false lash on, and first of all, I mean, who is this queen? Like this beauty ass queen with a false lash. I don't know her <laughs> because this is so weird. Like it looks weird, it feels weird. Everything about this is just so different, but it's so freaking pretty, oh my God. By the way, I just went in with a pair of Ardell's. These are the Ardell Faux Mink uh, lashes. What style are they in? These are in 817, I just have a pack of them and they look really beautiful. Like they're a lighter, almost more of like a, a demi wispy kind of lash, but a little bit thinner than that. And that's really pretty. All right guys, so while I was off of camera, I was just letting everything dry down and I figured I would just finish up the rest of my makeup. But before we get into that, the other products I used, so on and so forth, I do wanna circle back around really quickly to that velour liner because I'm actually very impressed. As far as like application goes, the, the whole concept of it, it is very on point, very on brand. And honestly, as somebody that never uses that sort of stuff, I'm actually very impressed with how user friendly it is. Now don't get me wrong, you know, do I think that there is going to be a little bit of a learning curve to that absolutely because it is a little bit more on like the thinner more liquid side and I could easily see you know if you're someone like me for example I don't ever use <laughs> like a liquid liner so I could see that getting a little out of control especially if you're not used to using it but in terms of you know do doing what it says it will it's marketed perfectly and I think that it actually did exactly what I expected like it, it applied well the color the opacity of the actual liner itself is beautiful but I think my favorite part about this as a product is the fact that you don't have to wait for the glue to dry or get like tacky or anything before you apply the lash to your eye because that was hands down my least favorite part of the lash application process. Like you'd get the glue on there and then you'd have to, and then you just, and then you'd have to sit. And I, that just like, <laughs> it always drove me crazy because I'm like, this is the dumbest concept in the entire world. Like I have to let this stupid thing get tacky before it'll even work. And if I'm being honest, a lot of it's probably just that I'm a very impatient person and that's totally fine. I just, I do not like the traditional application for lashes, for glue, for all of it. It's just not my thing. But this, like I said, I like the fact that it's easy and that you apply it. And I mean, within seconds, you're just like, doop, doop. And you just, you put your eyelashes on and that part of it is really, really nice. Now, in terms of me personally, you know, is this going to make it so I wear eyelashes like fake ones every day? Probably not because just in my day-to-day -day life, it's not super practical. But I will say on a day where I'm going for more of a full glam look, this probably Product would encourage me to go for the lashes as opposed to you know the old style way where I absolutely hate doing lashes and that's saying something because again I haven't worn false lashes in forever and this was unbelievably easy to do so that part of it a hundred percent agree and then like I said while I was off of camera I did go ahead and finish up the rest of my face as well and all that really entailed was <laughs> this little lip right here this is from M Cosmetics and it is their true gloss in the shade caramel glaze and 
and this is a shade that Kathleen has talked about over and over again and she really really not only loves the shade but the formula of this from M Cosmetic and this is a product that I'm familiar with it's been a really long time but I have tested it before and I'm actually really happy to have repurchased it because the formula itself is a very beautiful like almost silky meets velvet kind of feeling and it's not a gloss in the same sense that like um like like the Lunar Beauty that's one of my favorite glosses right Manny's Lunar Beauty um glosses or the Fenty gloss bombs it's not that same type of consistency it's different than that but it's still beautiful and it almost wears more like a like a comfort lipstick like it has that kind of a feel to it but then when you go to apply it you're able to see like that beautiful sheen and it has more of a comfort of a gloss I would say but almost has the texture of a lipstick now of course at this point we're gonna go ahead and look at the entire makeup look together so let's go ahead and throw up the up close that way we can both kind of see you know what's going on and see how the products all came together I think for me in terms of this makeup I do love the way it looks everything came together very well but I don't necessarily love the way that my skin looks and I'm not surprised by that because again I did go in with pretty much all hydrating products and my skin just inherently is not a dry a dry canvas to work with so I'm not surprised that it doesn't look that great you know like around the mouth especially over on the cheek area there's just some spots that are already wearing off which again it doesn't surprise me and I think while I went through and like played with the products individually I gave a, a pretty good wrap up on each one but I do have to say my most shocking product at this point is definitely this eyeshadow palette like I keep looking down at this and I'm just constantly like blown away at how much I enjoyed this especially given like when I went into this video <laughs> how not impressed with it I was at all so I would definitely say that the most underrated but surprisingly amazing product is this palette um it actually you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of when I I talked about this in a recent video the oh my god it was my oh my it was my own tag video you guys if you haven't seen it I created a tag video which I will link up here and in it I was talking about the Fenty eyeshadow palettes those little snap and shadows whatever and I talked about how those ones I was so apprehensive I didn't I was just like not impressed and once I tried them it totally changed just my entire perspective and this is the exact same way like before I tested them not interested nah, whatever ugh, just I wasn't into it and now I could see myself having this be like a daily go-to palette because the pigmentation and everything about it was absolutely beautiful so th this is definitely the most underrated and then in terms of my favorite product I I'd have to give it to the grande glow this plumping liquid highlight stuff this is absolutely beautiful it looks amazing on the skin I love the shine and I think my favorite part about this is how well it works with so many other products like no matter what it just looks beautiful and like healthy and it layers well and it just it even showed through like the powder before I sat down like it just this is such a beautiful liquid highlight I'm very very impressed my close second is this veiling blush because this was absolutely beautiful as well like draped over the cheeks if you wanted to use it as just like a dusting give you a little lilt if it's your only blush I don't care this is absolutely stunning as well now before I wrap up the video really quick I do just want to add on something because I normally like as I grow throughout the video I would talk to you about Kathleen and like what I like and you know I would go through all of that but truthfully I got so distracted between how beautiful <laughs> these like glowy cheek products were and my strawberries with whipped cream I just got too distracted and I just completely forgot but I do want to add on and of course by the way her channel will of course be linked down below if you don't know who she is but I want to add on just a couple of things and like the reasons that I watch her and I think the one thing that I appreciate so much about Kathleen Lights is the fact that she has been on YouTube for several years I mean obviously she's been on for several years years more than I have but she's been on YouTube for you know six seven years at this point I just feel like throughout her time here and I mean hell I've only been watching her for what I've been on YouTube for three years and I think I started watching her just after I started my channel and I love the fact that you can see like she has evolved as a person and her you know her talent has evolved her tastes have evolved you know like like the makeup community has continued to evolve and revolve and things have changed but I like that with her that girl next door quality is still there her quirkiness is still there and the fact that she's very open and like she'll talk about like her anxiety issues and like how she's more so a homebody and, and she has like these these characteristics about her that I just think are very unique and they're the type of characteristics that I think make it so people can open up to her people can um, feel like like they're there with her and she allows people to not feel so isolated and she allows them to have that that moment outside 
outside of themselves. And that's something that for me hits really near and dear because as I've talked about on this channel, you know, I don't ever want you guys to feel alone. And I want you to always have like that voice, that chronic illness isn't gonna end you. Your life doesn't begin and end with diagnosis. And I think one of the reasons that I love watching Kathleen Light so much is because you get the same kind of vibe from her. You know what I mean? You, you get that same like ease, like you're with a friend and you're hanging out and things are just, things are okay. And I, I don't, I don't know. For me, there's just so much power in that type of, that type of vibe, that type of feeling. And I don't know. I just, that, that for me is just, that, that's it. Like that, that embodies Kathleen Lights in, in so many ways. Like just if I had to put a big old package bow on it, that would be it. And then really quickly before we go, because I know I'm gonna get questions. This is Kathleen Lights Summer Collection and it is absolutely beautiful. I talked about it in a recent purchaser pass, which I can link up here if you wanna watch it. And I just wanted you guys to know, I got it, it's beautiful. And this color story, okay, I'm wearing the orange one right here. This is the shade, what is this? Who, who loves orange soda? Yes, um, I do, thank you. Also on my toes right here, I'm wearing the blue shade. <laughs> that wasn't uncomfortable. Um, and this is the shade Berry. And these colors are so true and beautiful and vibrant. I just wanted you guys to see, if you are into these bright colors. If this is your jam, you should definitely check out Lights Lacquer. It is, I believe, lightslacquer.com is her website. And the polishes are fantastic. And then I've also been testing out her base coat and her clear coat that she came out with maybe like a month or so ago. And those are proving to be absolutely fantastic as well. So again, if you're wanting to check it out, I will have it linked down below. That is light, I think it's lightslacquer.com. I think I said this already, but I did purchase that. I purchased my top coat, my base coat. I've never been sent any PR. I've never been contacted by Lights Lacquer. It's nothing like that, but you guys, the woman knows her damn polishes, okay? <laughs> so like, if you are curious, if you're into it, um, definitely go check out the site. There's a ton of neutrals on there, which are more like my day-to-day -day basic bitch speed. And also if you're wanting something fun and poppy for summer, she now has that as well. So like I said, go check it out. It'll all be linked down below. And with that beautiful people, the video has officially come to a close. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below, whether it's on the video, if you also love Kathleen Lights, or if you'd like to recommend to me the next person that you would like to see this video on, please sound off down in the comments and I hope that you guys all have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye really should take this off cuz I don't like the clickety clacking that I hear and this I don't like that that noise Ugh. let's do this get down and do this do this get down focus page. Calm down. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Paige, why does it take you so long to film one video? <laughs> I wonder why. Where, oh, where could my wipes be? The good Lord hit them away from me. <laughs> I found them.